Alright guys, okay, this is a battle with, um, Nacho, uh, yeah, I had to, well, today, yeah, don't know what the hell I'm, or where I'm going with that one. Right, this is basically proof that I need to go back to my roots and stop dicking about in OU. Yeah, yeah, this is an RU battle, and, mm, it wasn't good. There are a couple of reasons for that. One, I played like balls, I'm not gonna take anything away from that, and two, for some random reason, I mean, I haven't played RU in God knows how long since I've started playing OU with the really random sets to throw people off that no one ever sees coming. Um, yeah, I didn't know any of the tier changes that had happened at RU. So, I was like, yeah, give me a minute to pick out some guys. And every single guy I picked, I, I don't know why, but they were all physical. Apart from, I mean, I've got a few from the OU team I've got, so Crustle, Licky Licky, and Braviary, and then I think I've got a um, few other random ones, but yeah, if it's just, I picked them all out to be physical, I think Licky Licky was probably the only one that had a special move, and that's Fire Blast. And as you will see, the fact that every single guy is physical hinders me massively. I'm not not saying that, you know, I, it, it, that's why I lost. I'm just saying it's my own damn fault. So there you go. Um, he said he was using um, his in-game team. His subs wanted him to use his in-game team in a battle. So, or he was doing a, what, a black and white? Or black or white LP, I suppose. I don't know which one it is. <sighs> but yeah. So there you go, kids. Never pick a full physical team unless you're ballsy and run a bunch of choice bandits or scarfers. Even then, won't work very well at all. But still, we're gonna get cracking. As usual, I'm gonna lead with my Crustle. I re I probably should change Crustle. Change him to something else. I mean, I love Crustle because he's a beast and he's so awesome and he can tank like everything. But I've used him so often, and I always lead with him, and he sets up Stealth Rocks and Spikes, and occasionally he does the awesome counter. Um, I set up Stealth Rocks predicting him to set up Stealth Rocks, and then I would counter next turn. However, he just goes straight for a Stone Edge, which is a pretty smart play, predicting me to Stealth Rock. So he out-predicted me straight off the bat. And then um, my, I told him I was using Custat, but it didn't come into play there since I'm quicker. Um, he gets up his Stealth Rocks, and I get up a second Larry Spikes, and he he kills me with an EQ, so, yeah. Crustle, well, Crustle does its job. It's efficient, but it's not cool, you know? It's not funky. It wasn't made to live specific things or do something retarded. It's just there, which is kind of why I hate it. Now, this Steelix, um, I do enjoy using. However, every single time I use it, um, I go for a Dragon Tail, and it misses. It didn't miss there. But it will, and it's fucking annoying. Uh, I really need to put Roar on it. In fact, I could do it right now. I could. I could pick up my DS right now and put Roar on it. But I won't because I'm doing this, and then I'll forget after this. And I'll never do it. And it'll happen to me again. Um, he brings in this Caracosta. And I figured he would Shell Smash, and I would just EQ. Or he would go for a Waterfall, like he did and I would EQ anyway. However, I did not expect him to live, because I figure, what, he'll be Shell Smash. However, I believe he has Life Orb, which, if you're a Shell Smash set, you're pretty much expected to go to your Sturdy and then hit things till you die. So, um, either he's just completely offense with no s or offensive with no setup, then, yeah, that's actually, you know, pretty interesting set. Because, again, I predicted him to Shell Smash, so, yeah, it actually fucked me over a lot. Still, I go into Croconaw. Um, I actually wanted him to hit the Stone Edge and um, then die from Life Orb, so I would get a free sub. However, he did make the good point that um, a Waterfall, despite me being max HP, max defense, Eviolite, still did about an 8. So, um, Stone Edge probably would have brought me to the point where I couldn't sub at all. So, kind of lucky it missed, but yeah, my thought process was mate, I could probably get away with it and just get a free sub. But in comes this, what, Stigalith? And, ugh. This, to me, is like the Reuniclus of, you know, RU, except if you get it before it starts setting up, it isn't horrible to kill. Reuniclus is always horrible to kill, no matter what you have, unless you have a Spiritomb that's specially bulky and has, like, Haze, I don't know. Oh, it's Psychop, that'd be pretty cool. 
then yeah, Sigalith is generally a bitch to kill. Don't really like it. But I go for an Ice Punch and t t it does nothing. I guess I wasn't really expecting much, but still. And then here I go SD and I make a really dumb play, which was so blissfully obvious. I could have gotten a free Ice Punch off, which would have been nice, but I SD again. And it's like what? I, I don't know. I guess I wanted to beat him before he. I wanted to beat him to plus six, but I was slower. I should have just ice punched and got rid of it. So he stores powers me, and then Psycho shifts weirdly. I'm not entirely sure on that, because I would still be at plus two, so I would still match his defenses. Um, I waterfall. I, I guess predicting him to roost or something. I don't know why he would, because if I was at plus four, he's at plus two. That's going to be a pretty chunky hit, and I would have been in blaze or no torrent range, so that would have done. You know that would have helped out. But still, um, he's is going to roost now, which um, I guess you know shows why Psycho shifting the burn over to me was actually quite smart. He got a free roost out of it. So blur, it's a pain, damn it. Um, after this, I'm going to bring in Steelix, because it is literally the one guy I don't care about getting burned. It's generally the one guy I don't actually care about in general. So I am going to protect to get a bit of lefties back, because once he burns me, I ain't going to be getting lefties gated anymore, because my retarded team didn't actually have any proper utility on it. Um, here, I'm going to go for a Dragon Tail, and um, he's going to Psycho Shift me the burn. However, I miss... And then he has a free opportunity to roost while um, I'm trying to cock about and drag and tail him out. <sighs> See, you could, uh, it wasn't that vital. I've had worse drag and tail misses. Like something was about to get to plus six and he thought he could do nothing or I could do nothing to him. And I, then I missed the drag and tail and die. I've had that happen before. And this wasn't as crucial, but it's just annoying, you know. I, mean, I get why it should miss because... It does damage, and there's always going to be a trade-off somewhere. But still, in comes this Ember, and I'm just, uh, yeah. Um, there, there's, there's nothing, really. I mean, he said I probably he, I probably should have brought in my um, Braviary. However, my Braviary is defensive. I know I do have, a, a, well, like 100 speed EVs in there. But, I well, I have max special defense, a lot of HP, no defense whatsoever. And um, as I fit, well, he tells me he's banded. I originally fought Scarf. That's why I didn't go into Braviary, because I wouldn't outspeed it. There was no way in hell. And if it's, well, I don't know. Reckless isn't released, is it? I know. I've seen a couple of people running Reckless Embor. Dear God, it's horrible. But, yeah, uh, there, there was really nothing for me. I was kind of hoping that he wasn't choiced and that I would bait him into superpower and live and explode, but... He's choiced, and yeah, even, ooh, I, I wasn't really going to live. I didn't expect to. But there you go, that's the whole problem with Licky Licky. You know, it's good at living fighting hits, which is the ironic thing, but everything else is, nah. That's what I'm starting to see with it, which is kind of a shame. I mean, it can live quite a lot of big OU threat hits, but... There are just some things that are beyond it, and Embor is severely underrated for what it is. I mean, it's slow as balls, don't get me wrong, and it has no bulk apart from its HP, but god damn has it got an insane attack stat, and if Reckless ever gets released, oh, that's going to be awful. Anyway, he goes Flare Blitz and kills my Absol. I was kind of hoping Absol would pull it out in the clutch, but he didn't, so... Both of us go down. All I have left is Braviary. He's, he has more than enough things to kill me. Um, again, if my Braviary was standard with the Scarf set, um, I probably would have, well, I would have been able to take out the M board. I would have had a better chance at it, but yeah. Um, here's quite, something's quite funny happened. Um, I go for a sub. I don't know why. I was just trying to get somewhere is all I had left to do. And he goes normal gem explosion, which I found quite funny. So there you go. It worked out. I actually got rid of you know, one Pokemon, but still. Yeah, I didn't play well. So there you go. I need to get back to my roots in RU. So I guess I need to make a new RU team, which it, it is something to do. But I do have to end up making about 60 pokes for set box, so that's probably going to dominate more of my time. But we'll see how I do. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing, Nacho. And um, yeah, catch you next time. Peace.